Every BMW M62 I've ever worked on, it's always got these very fine scratches in the cylinder bores. And as most people know, these are uh, alucil blocks with no liner or no iron liner. So the process uh, to get rings to seal is a little bit different. Um, today what I'm gonna do is try to use some of the Sun and AN30 paste, uh, which is the you know, factory prescribed honing paste um, just by hand to try to recreate a bit of that finish. It'll uh, knock out some of this glazing, even everything out, remove a bit of the carbon, and hopefully just smooth out some of these minor scratches. I mean, you can't even really feel them with a the fingernail. They're extremely minor. But uh, I'll do what I can to try to clean these up as best as possible. So this is what you're going to need for this job. And it's the uh, actual factory prescribed honing compound for final finish on these uh, alucil blocks. So the proper way to do this is to use your standard kind of three leg cylinder hone with felt pads, lots of lubrication and uh, essentially a standard kind of uh, honing process, uh, just using felt pads instead of uh, your, your typical kind of 240 grit stones. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a ton of lubrication, so I got a little bottle of oil here ready. So I've got a little bit of the A and 30 here, uh, just on a clean one of these kind of blue shop rags. And in line with the actual honing instructions, I'm adding quite a bit of oil, keep everything nicely lubricated. And I'm just going to massage it into the cylinder wall and making sure you've got full coverage. And then really the only trick to this is to not end up spoiling the ring pack um, by getting some of this abrasive paste down into the rings. So I'm going to leave about a centimeter um, above the, the piston here. I've got the piston at uh, the bottom of stroke. But yeah, really, um, you know, not a lot of magic to this. So now that I got about half coverage, I'm just going to go load up this pad again. I'll go at it from the opposite side, make sure I've got, you know, full concentric coverage, evenly buff it in, and then I'll get to cleaning it out. So I buffed the full area inside the cylinder here, uh, leaving just about a centimeter or so at the bottom above the piston. And from this point, it's just uh, a matter of getting the abrasive compound out without working it down. So I'm just going to take little bits of shop rag starting from the bottom and wiping up. So I'm going to give these things a final clean out with uh, a bit of a petroleum solvent. In this case, I'm using just an engine flush product. Got a big stack of pre-cut cloths here. And again, just wiping from top to bottom, or sorry, from bottom to top. And even though it looks clean, You can see it's taking a bunch of stuff out. So just new ones and working all that stuff out.
just in case I got anything in that other cylinder. But I think... I think this will be the final wipe down. Pick up a bit of carbon off the piston heads once in a while. All right, that one is looking pretty clean. Maybe one more just for final measure. So yeah, where I touch the piston here, other than that, I think it's good. So fresh glove, one more clean rag. Just trying to make sure you got absolutely everything out of this thing. So I'd say that's pretty clean. And then as a final step, again, new clean glove. Just a good amount of oil. Tape this thing a bunch of times so just to start rotate it up a little bit and then I'm gonna rotate it back down So what I'm doing here is just trying to check to see if anything got in that ring pack. So yeah, ring pack's coming out clean. There's oil, obviously, but uh, no residue or anything. So there you go. Didn't get all the vertical scoring out, but it uh, overall cleaned up the bore really nicely. It's worth mentioning that uh, you do two at a time. So I got this one cleaned up. Uh, I'm actually down to just two on this block, which is uh, the piston that's all the way at TDC currently. But uh, yeah, it takes about 30, 40 minutes to do a pair. I think it'll be well worth it. Um, just kind of clean up that bore, create a little bit more area for oiling. Uh, so the sun in 830 is uh, self-limiting. It'll only cut as much as the grain size in the paste itself. So doing it by hand like this, it's going to be a lot gentler than a hone. And I don't really think you can go wrong. Uh, look for my update when I get this thing running, get the heads on, and uh, I'll let you know if there's any issue with oil burning, anything like that.